Okay, this one has all the goods, guys. Spicy toasted sesame sauce, juicy shredded chicken, and some cucumber as well. This is the authentic version of Bang Bang Chicken. The number one key factor in making this dish amazing is the poached chicken. Now, poached chicken has a really bad name. It can end up really dry and really stringy. In our case, we wanna make it really juicy. Still shredded, but really juicy. So I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques for getting that just right. Um, now, we also wanna flavor the chicken as it cooks. So I'm gonna start off with some ginger. Nice, chunky slices. And now because I wanna maximize the amount of ginger flavor I get, I'm just gonna bruise these pieces a little bit. Okay, now they go into my saucepan with some water and I want some garlic. And same again, just bruise those a little bit. Okay, and then some final aromatics, just some spring onion. And again, because I wanna maximize the amount of flavor I'm getting out of this spring onion in a short amount of time, I'm just gonna slice them a little bit so they can release all of their aroma. And now for the chicken. I've got chicken breasts that are about 200 grams each and this water is just room temperature. So I'm putting those in and I'm going to turn the heat on to high. And what we wanna do is keep an eye out on that water uh, for when it starts to bubble. So for the minute, I'm gonna let it go uh, and start getting on with the rest of my ingredients. Okay, so I want some Szechuan peppercorns and just a little scant teaspoon into just a dry frying pan and I want to heat these guys up until they're beautifully aromatic. Okay, so these are ready to be ground up. Okay, so you want a really nice fine powder just like that. And I'm going to put that into a small bowl and this is going to be the start of our dressing. So the next all important ingredient for our sauce is toasted sesame seeds. Just love the beautiful nutty kind of flavor they add to this dish. And just like when you're toasting pine nuts or peanuts, just keep them moving in the pan and don't walk away. They burn really easily. Okay, so these have a beautiful golden sun-kissed color. And now for the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. So a little bit of soy sauce. Ooh, sesame seeds are hot. And a little bit of sesame oil, some vinegar. Now, if you can get uh, what's called Chinese black vinegar or dark vinegar from your Asian grocer, that would be the more traditional vinegar to use. I'm just using a plain old white vinegar because I know that'll be easier for you guys to find. And some sugar, some salt. And now I'm gonna use some of my homemade chili oil. So I love this stuff. A lot of you guys have made my chili oil. I know because you've been sending me photos and telling me all the different dishes you've been making. You can find the video for this on my YouTube channel. It really is a next level up from the store-bought chili oil. It's full of spices like star anise and cinnamon and there's bay leaves as well. And it's got a really big spicy kick, which I love. Now, let's see how we're going with our dressing. Mm. I love this one guys. It has all the stuff going on here. I've got the chili, I've got the Szechuan peppercorns getting all tingly. Ah, so good. Now all the while I'm keeping an eye on my chicken and I can see it's just started to bubble the liquid. Now let's have a look. I don't want this to boil rapidly. If you've got a rapid boil, that's when you're gonna dry out your chicken breast. So just that little hint of bubble and I'm gonna turn the heat down now and I'm gonna let that cook for eight minutes. And I'm gonna put the timer on just because, you know, when I'm at home and I have the baby running around, I don't put the timer on, I forget things. So you might be the same as me. Eight minutes. So while we're waiting, we can finish off our sauce and we just want some spring onions. Just a fine slice on those. Mm, it's smelling so good already. I can smell that lovely sesame and the spring onions. Okay, this guy is almost ready to party, but at the end, we're just gonna add a little bit of that chicken cooking liquid. Now my timer still hasn't gone off, so I'm going to do my cucumber next. So I want some really fine strips here. So I'm gonna start off by cutting the cucumber on the diagonal, grabbing a few pieces, and then just slicing lengthways. And that gives you a really nice, fine kind of shape. Now spread that cucumber out onto your serving plate, ready for your chicken. So I like to keep everything quite cold for this dish, so I'll put this into the fridge while I'm waiting for the chicken to cook. Okay, step one of the cooking part of the chicken done. So it's not quite done yet. What we're gonna do is turn the heat off and then put 
the lid on and let this keep cooking super gently in that residual heat for another 10 minutes. This is the key part, guys. Instead of rapidly boiling that chicken until it's really dry, this gentle technique is gonna give you a really juicy, really yummy poached chicken. Okay, let's have a look at our chicken. Mm, I can smell all that lovely ginger and garlic and spring onion. Ah, oh, so comforting. Okay, just take that chicken out. And because I don't want it to cook anymore and dry out, I'm going to put my chicken pieces into a bowl of cold water. And also this is not meant to be a hot kind of dish. It's more like a salad kind of dish. So I don't want my chicken to be too hot. Now just let those guys cool down until they're cool to the touch. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna finish off our dressing with some of this cooking liquid. So that's gonna have all that ginger flavor, chicken flavor, garlic, spring onion. And now we've arrived at the banging part. So some of you might've been wondering why this is called Bang Bang Chicken, uh, but this is why, because the street store vendors who originally made this dish would use a utensil to bang the chicken uh, to prepare it. And I think it does two things. Of course, it helps you to break down the chicken, making it easier to shred, but it also kind of bruises the chicken meat and allows a lot more of that dressing to seep in. I don't know why, that's just my opinion, but I do think it's the best way to go about it. So use a rolling pin and just bang away. As I'm doing this, I can see a lot of chicken juices sort of coming out onto my board. That's a great thing. I can see that this chicken is really nice and juicy. And now we just shred that chicken into really fine little strips. Now this chicken goes out onto our cucumber and then we get our awesome dressing and just drizzle lots of that over everything. You cannot have too much of this stuff if you like spicy things. And then of course, because I'm always OTT with the spice level, I'm gonna add a little further drizzle of chili oil. And there you have it guys. This is one for all of the spice lovers out there. If you love hot, spicy, numbing kind of situations, this is the dish for you.